All right, guys and gals. So today we're working on this Volvo S80. And we're going to be changing a radiator. Uh, so we basically just started off by um, popping the hood, getting underneath, and uh, taking off the plastic underneath. So here's the belly pan. It's held in with two bolts. One there. One there. And uh, these little, I don't know, plastic clip protruding out of it there they just kind of like slip into a hole in the bumper and then you bolt them in on each side real easy 10 mil bolts I'm gonna start by removing start by removing the drain cock at the bottom a little 12 mi or 13 millimeter socket or a wrench can get on it and then uh, it'll start draining and if you want it to speed up just pop the rad cap off and out she comes. Okay, so it looks like there's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna wanna get out of our way here. Um, there is... We have an EG, or an EVAP pipe going across there, a couple of hoses, there's a connector there we can get a part to make some room. Uh, we got the EVAP purge solenoid there, so we're gonna uh, take off the... Uh, take out these two screws that mount it to the fan shroud and just kinda tie it up and let it dangle a bit and uh, once we got that we can remove that 10 mil and that 10 mil and should be able to slide this uh, fan shroud out of the way oh and the fan power connector there too obviously oh and it looks like there's another connector down here so yeah once we get all that uh, disconnected we'll be able to pull the fan shroud out Okay, so we got all our bolts out, like two up top, we got our EVAP hose on, I don't know, attached from the uh, fan shroud. Fan shroud's unplugged, all the other wiring is off it, the EVAP uh, birch solenoid there, it's uh, just off to the side and disconnected from the fan shroud, so let's get this fan shroud out of here. So the next thing I want to do is uh, I'm just going to take a bit of spray lube and spray this uh, transmission cooler line that goes to the radiator. And the reason why I want to spray that down is to kind of help any rust break loose ahead of time before I start reefing on it and maybe allow it to slide in and out a little better. There's another one down below. There you can see it. And uh, I'm going to do the same down there. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start taking off the upper and lower radiator hoses. Seeing as the cooling system is already drained, uh, it should be empty. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and place the clamps at the same time just because they're pretty rusty. They're in rough shape. Clamps are good. Okay, so to disconnect to the radiator from the condenser for the air conditioning, I'm going to give you a view of the bolt there. Four bolts that hold in the air conditioning uh, condenser to the radiator. There's one right there, there's another one on this side, right there, both 10 mils and there's two more at the bottom as well I think. Okay as I suspected, two bolts at the bottom, one on this side, one on the other side. Both 10 mil, they're long guys just like the top. So we'll uh, support the condenser and then we'll unbolt that. And then the rad should be separate from the condenser. We have to lift the condenser up a bit to get it to maybe pop out of one of these. I don't know. Nice. Okay, now that we've got those uh, condenser bolts out, I'm going to be removing the uh, transmission cooler line. The way you get these guys out is you pinch the tab in and out there. Give her a wiggle. I may have to crop this up here so you can see what I'm doing. Give it a twist as you're pinching the clip. And it should come right out. As 
you can tell, we've already done the bottom. Okay, so now we've got the condenser supported. We can get the radiator loose by disconnecting that guy there, 13 mil bolt. Okay, so radiator is now unbolted. Okay, so I got all the two bolts, um, big ones on the sides done. And it looks like I missed two at the top. So there's that guy right there, another 10 mil. And then on the same thing on this side of the radiator. I'm assuming anyways. Yeah, that's in there. Way up. Right there. So two 10 mils, and that should get the top out. Don't do what I just did, kids. Take that nut out, and that nut out. Just a tiny little 10 mil. It'll relieve this little bracket here that I've been fighting with forever, trying to do it from the back side. Okay, so now that we've got the, the uh, radiator unbolted up top here on both sides, you can see it's loose. We've got the condenser sitting in behind, plus the little plastic shroud that goes in between. Because of the cooler, the transmission, I think it's either a transmission cooler line or maybe a power steering cooler line way down here. This guy right there. Um, the way it kind of shimmies around the bottom of the rod, I'm just going to try and tip down the passenger side and see if I can shimmy it out of the way. If not, I'll have to re either remove that line or move it out of the way. Let's crawl underneath and find out. Oh, we made a mess. Oh, we made a mess. Oh, well. Okay, as you can see, boys and girls, I got her shimmied down. She's sitting on the floor, basically. Got it around that uh, power string cooling line. So now, I'm just gonna tip it back. And slide her out. Okay, oh yeah, we did disconnect the overflow line, by the way. Okay, so now we got the old girl and the new girl. We're gonna start swapping over a bunch of little clips, uh, vibration isolators, <gasps> mount, all that sort of good shit. Okay, so we uh, transferred over these tabs up here to hold it in up top they just unbolted from those this hole right here on each side sorry <clears throat> now we gotta move these guys over so what you do here is you just put your screwdriver in here pry that way so that the tab here comes out and then you do it on both sides and it slides right out put it in on this side boom in so we got them in on both sides, both tabs. What it looks like, it's pretty well stripped. Okay, so we uh, have gone ahead and wiggled the radiator back up into place. Started by putting in the four bolts, two on each side, one upper, one lower. 
that uh, bolt the <coughs> condenser and radiator shrouds together. And then I went ahead and started to raise it up into its tightened position. Started the, each bolt on top to center it. Then one underneath. And start each bolt on the bottom. So this is still free, but it's just hanging from the two top bolts. So we're gonna position it in. And uh, don't forget to make sure that these strip, these weather strippings here, you can see it moving up and down. They're just, they just get pinched in between. Make sure they're in place. They help guide the air into the radiator. Okay, so now we got our two 10 volt mills up here. You can see how they're sticking up now because it's all tightened into place. One. Two. Okay, she's bolted in, boys and girls. Okay, got the fan shroud in, got the wiring all put in for the fan shroud, got it strapped down, got it bolted in. It's these guys here, remember? One there, one there. Um, bolted the uh, EVAP perch solenoid back down. Tested the fans, fans are good. Or fan. I uh, ran into a snag though. Uh, got this line on okay, but uh, was unable to get the bottom one on. The clip broke. Stupid clip. So yeah, there's some of the pieces. I went to the store and I got these stupid things. It says it's for GMs, it's a half inch connector, but it doesn't even fit, so managed to find the right proper number online, but I'll have to order a clip, so that's that for today. So here we are the next day and uh, got ourselves a new clip, put it on the line, snapped it into place, topped up our fluids, fired up the car, got it up to temperature, and uh, that worked the majority of the bubbles out of the system. Took it for a short drive, that got more bubbles out of the system, topped up the radiator again, made sure the fluids weren't leaking and everything was good. Gears were shifting no problem. Everything was tickety-boo. Thanks for watching.